I'm so excited for this month's boxy charm like I am every other day out of the month if that made any sense but boxy charm is seriously my favorite ist subscription box ever like if you have $21 to spare every month freaking sign yourself up it is so amazing and the reason why it is so amazing and I freaking boxy charm if you're watching this consider sponsoring me because number one fan even though I just held up the sign to what's going on in my brain I haven't slept in four days why do I have this much energy good questions but boxy charm is a monthly subscription box where you get four to five full size samples, samples in your subscription box which is absolutely amazing especially for 21 dollars you get like um luxury items you get i've never gotten a drugstore item so it's really just like a lot of luxury beauty um like stuff you would see at ulta and the expensive side or sephora like oh they have a lot of pure cosmetics they have a lot of tart in here um amazing um they also on their instagram every month which is kind of my this is like my love hate part of boxycharm um boxycharm has an instagram and every couple of days in the beginning of the month they will release a spoiler alert for a product they're, ho they're holding in the box so if you check out on their instagram they'll show you the three things that every boxycharmer or every charmer is getting in their subscription box um so i'm going to show you what I got in my BoxyCharm. I am so excited. I love BoxyCharm. It brings me so much more joy than any boyfriend ever had. Damn. Here we go. I'm going to show you guys. We're going to go, voila. Voila. You see, like, all of their boxes are now coming in this foam padding, which I think is great. Um, Because it makes sure everything is nice and protected. Like, I've gotten, so far, um, out of the months I've been with BoxyCharm, I've gotten, like, two eyeshadow palettes gotten lashes I gotten lipstick like I've gotten so freaking much I even got like a MAC pencil last month how amazing is that all throughout this video you will see my boxy charm notifications popping up for other videos so make sure you go watch them and really like think about if this subscription box is great for you and if you think it is great for you make sure you go click the link down below in my description box to sign up because it'll help me out and I would love to help support you guys with makeup and beauty on a budget like freaking I just I love this box so much so this month's theme is spellbound um I kind of wish that that like they would let me know if this is October or November's box I'm assuming it's October I'm assuming this is Halloween's box um like you know it's October everything evolves around Halloween for the month and on the back it, it has a little card letting me know how much everything costs um I'm like little information on everything, what everything is in the box. I'm not going to talk about that just yet, but we will get to that. So here is what the box looks like. I'm holding everything on with my pinky so nothing falls out. And if you see glitter on me, I just finished a slime video. So I will have that up soon doing a DIY, the world's glitteriest slime. We will have that up. So I have to admit, I have to admit, I'm going to be a spoiled princess right now. I, there was one thing that I was really hoping that I wouldn't get in my box and I got it so I'm a little bit disappointed but I'm not gonna complain I'm not gonna complain so I'm gonna start off with the three things that everybody gets in their box signing up for October so everybody who has the October's box has these three items the first thing is Dr. Brandt pore dermabrasion um, this is an exfoliating. It's to help reduce your pores, which is so amazing. Um, this is a full size. Like, all of their items that they give out are full size samples. Not full size samples, full size items. So, this is from Dr. Brandt. I don't know if you can get this at Ulta, but I know you can definitely get this at Sephora. Um, it says that the bottle says it'll help refine the appearance of pores deep clean pores and help smooth the appearance of skin texture what your girl needs like look at my skin I have so much texture I have so much texture on my skin so I'm always in need of something that'll help me reduce the appearance of texture on my skin it says for all skin types which I love because it's so inclusive I love that um Pore perfecting exfoliator, and then it says some stuff in a language I can't read. Um, Dr. Brandt recommends dampen skin with water, slowly gently massage a cream. Directions fun. 
there's a foil cap I have removed. I actually really love the silver on the lid. Like, I just feel like it really adds this level of, like, hoity-toitiness, if you know what I mean. Like, oh, like, I'm so fancy because I have this silver band around the bottle because otherwise it would just been a plain, plain blue bottle and I don't feel like that would have been visually appearing peeling but I do like the packaging so here's the smell test mint do you want to smell do you smell it it smells like mint to me like mint chocolate chip a little bit I want to know if it's minty no it's not minty it's white it looks like conditioner. Why well, was I was expecting this to have like a leafy texture, like um, the Glam Glow Mud Mask. Like I was expecting this to have some texture to it, but let's feel it. It's very, very fresh feeling. It almost feels like uh, like somebody just licked my hand and they were just chewing mint gum. It's very fresh feeling. It still feels minty, but it's not overpowering. I love that. I am not somebody who can stand strong smells and this is not overpowering. Like the, I feel like the scent is kind of going away as I'm rubbing it out, but it definitely feels like I just put like icy hot almost on my hand. Like I do get a little bit of refreshing, tingling, not really burning sensation. Um, if you have ever used, I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but it almost feels like it has ultra fine sugar granules in the scrub. It doesn't feel like a thick and coarse. I really like the refined, the smaller particles of whatever they used to exfoliate in there because I feel like I can really get it in like right here, which is my trouble area. Like my entire nose is my trouble area. So I feel like I could really get in there and not have to worry about like big chunks of salt or whatever scraping up my skin. Like this just feels like it's a lot more gentle on my skin, which I love. Okay, so everybody got that in their box. I am so excited for this product. I'm wearing lipstick, so I can't even tell you guys what it actually looks like. But this is the Tardiest Lip Paint from Tarte Cosmetics. I love Tarte. They are my favorite brand. Like, best brand. It's like Elf and Tarte for me. I freaking love Tarte. Um, I feel like the past couple months, every box I've gotten has had something from Tarte in it. But I don't think last month did. But I'm always, always getting Tarte from BoxyCharm, which I just think is the best thing ever. Because they are a luxury brand. They are expensive, but they're vegan and they're cruelty-free. Um, so, like, and this is giving, like, one of these lipsticks is the cost of this box. This is 20 this is $21. Like, this is really helping give people who aren't in a financially secure situation or just don't, who don't have a lot of money the ability to really treat yourself and, like, spoil yourself. Like, you just got luxury in a box. So, this is the Tarte tardiest lip paint I freaking love the packaging can we just talk about the splatter paint like I've never seen this before I don't know if the packaging is new but I also love the new um like the nude color on the inside of the packaging this is shade home slice which I think is a little comical um I love Tarte it's also a female owned like a um women owned business love it okay smell test I'm not really smelling anything I loved I love tart let me just I love tart okay I don't, I don't know. oh makeup wipes I have makeup wipes don't worry guys don't worry I'm gonna take it off and oh no that was ipsy never mind and I'm gonna put it on so this says that I think it's supposed to be fast drying I really actually like the applicator of the lipstick I have been living for these applicators like it has a curve to it so it really fits around your lips so you're not trying to like put it on this like flat applicator around your lips I really like that let's put it on so I'm gonna shut up this is pretty oh um, oh my god This is really pretty color and 
home dog. It's already freaking dry. Does it pass the kiss test though? Okay, no. I'm not, wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it another shot because I just put it on. I just put it on. I'm gonna give it a second to dry, but if you can see, let me get up close and personal to y'all. Do you see how it's like dry? Like I don't see any wet spots, do you? I don't see any wet spots and it doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything. Like this kind of feels like the same consistency except not as dry feeling as the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit lipsticks. Why is mine so, my cat freaking jumped up on my vanity last night. So now all of my makeup brushes and the makeup I have out is covered in cat hair. Okay. But this feels dry. It doesn't really feel like I'm wearing anything on my lips, which is amazing. We're going to try the kiss test again. I'm going to do it in the back of my hand because this part of my hand isn't dry. So, do you see anything? Do you see anything? I'm going to, I don't know. I'm going to do it in the back of my hand again. It's, okay. Wiping it off of my shirt. Now it's dry. That's how we're drying it. Okay. Just a little bit is coming off. Like this part right here. Is where it's coming off so that's freaking amazing I think I'm gonna do will it barbecue with this like you'll see you'll see I'm gonna do a will it barbecue with this but I really like this it's a nice peach shade but I feel like it has a little bit of mauviness to it so it's kind of like perfectly appropriate for fall I really like that I really really like this color um yeah this is nice I'm happy with that. Now I have cat hair in my face, which is making my face upset. Um, love. Happy with that. So everybody also got this lipstick in it. I'm not exactly sure if everybody got this exact shade, which is Home Slice, but I know everybody got a Tarte Tarte lip paint in it. Love Tarte. And then I am so excited about this. This is something I've been wanting to try for a long time. This is Becca's Shimmering Skin Perfector. Um, I'm not, okay, I'm a noob, and I don't know if this is actually a highlighter or, like, a setting powder. I really, I really don't know. But it's from Becca, and I've never tried or swatched anything from Becca. So, basically, this says, a creamy, luminizing powder that veils skin in a soft, pearless, pearlized glow with a lustrous velvet finish. Sweep across face. Okay, so this is a highlighter. I just got a highlighter from Becca. Oh, my God. I feel like a little bit accomplished. Oh my god, I am like holding a highlighter from Becca. Wow, I kind of feel like I just met like a superstar, like a celebrity. Like, oh my god, is this Becca? Like, oh my god. Oh my god, I'm holding a highlighter from Becca. This is crazy. So this is shade Prosecco Pop. I don't know. If this is named after alcohol, I can't say anything. But here is what this looks like. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Like, can you tell how excited I am? I'm also noob part two. Can't figure out how to open it. <gasps> I'm so excited. Oh my god. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Oh my god. This is so pretty. I'm so excited. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, I'm probably saying the same thing over and over again. I low-key don't want to touch it because of how freaking gorge it is. This is so pretty. Oh my god, I'm holding something from Becca. Like, ah, okay, this is, calm down, Elizabeth. Take it from here to here. The mirror is also really nice. Um, this is a nice little compact mirror. I already have highlighter on, but oh my god. Okay, we're just gonna swatch it. We're gonna get it over and done with. <gasps> I'm about to ruin my Becca highlighter. This is really buttery feeling, which feels really nice. Oh, oh, freaking look at that. It doesn't smell like anything. Look at that. Actually, it reminds me of the inside of a Staples. That's weird. Look how pretty that is, like freaking look. Okay, swatchy swatch. Holy moly. Look how pretty that is. Oh my god, I feel so blessed. Oh, I am so excited. I'm just holding a highlighter from Becca. Can you imagine when I get to 10,000 subscribers? Like, I don't even know. I don't even know how I'm going to react. This is so pretty and it's so buttery. Low-key smells like the inside of Staples, which is strange, but it is so pretty. I'm actually really cut because the, um, the other option 
because everybody gets this in the BoxyCharm for October. The other option was the liquid um, highlighter from Becca, but I'm really glad that I got the pressed powder version because I suck at working with liquid highlighters, but this is so pretty and it's so golden. Oh, I'm so happy right now. So everybody in their BoxyCharm this month got the Dr. Brandt Pore Exfoliator, the Tarte Lipstick, and a highlighter or a liquid highlighter from Becca. And from there, it kind of changes up. Um, some people got a lip liner and a thing. Uh, no, everybody. I, some people got a lip liner and a nail kit. Some people got a lip liner and a, a stick highlighter from Dirty Little Secret. Some people got a nail kit and the Dirty Little Secret highlighter. So it kind of switches up for everybody. But we'll see for me. So I also have this. Is it blue? Oh, no, it's brown. <laughs> this is a lip liner from Jaunt Bleu, which probably explains why there's like a blue lip right there. But this is brown. So is this a lip liner? Yeah, this is a lip liner pencil. Um, Okay, Dot, have I swatched the Tarte? No, I have not. I'm going to swatch it on my hand so we can like compare. Because BoxyCharm sometimes will give you a lip liner to match your lipstick. So here is the lipstick from Tarte. And here is the lip liner from Jaunt Blue. As you can see, they really don't match. Um, but this is a nice and warm tone brown, which again, literally everybody um, who's really into the makeup community gets into vampy lips during fall. So I feel like a brown, um, warm tone brown lip liner for fall is a really great thing because it really like for people who like wearing vampy lips great you can also use lip liner on your eyes or to fill in your brows um so this is nice it's a nice like kind of all-inclusive again I've never heard of the brand John Blue which I like because I like discovering new brands um it says this is shade 943 brown sugar and then last but not least in my boxy charm I received the Nailed It Nail Kit, which is the thing that I was kind of hoping not to get just because I, for me and my spoiled brat opinion, quick story time, um, my old email used to be I'm spoiled brat, but me and my spoiled brat opinion, I just feel like I can get a nail kit anywhere. Um, but looking at it in a positive light, like, this is a nice nail kit. You can keep this in your purse and fix up your manicure or even if you have like a stray hair or like, like it's just nice to have around. Um, I think this it just feels nice in my hand. It has a nice weight to it. Um, it doesn't look cheap or crappy. Like I, I've seen these at the dollar store, but they're not nearly as nice quality as this one. Um, it has like a nice plush velvet on the inside. And then these little things, the things that hold in the utensils they have this like faux alligator print to them and it's not like I'm just getting a pair of scissors or anything I'm, I'm getting one two three four five different things in a nail kit so for them to go oh these five different things makes one thing is really amazing I personally believe um I don't know the proper names for any of these things so I'm just gonna show you what it looks like which I think, like, I don't know, I'm not mad about it. It's definitely something I could use. It's kind of like getting a bra or underwear for Christmas. You're like, oh, so what a sucky gift. But then you're like, I need it, like, and then you appreciate it. And that's how I feel about this. Okay, so let's get into the fun part, which is math, which you all know I suck about. Throw some math lessons my way. Okay, so the Dr. Brandt Pore Dermabrasion sells for $58. Let that sink in for a hot second. So this thing right here will sell for $58. This is a pore perfecting technology at your fingertips with a professional grade micro crystal solution that instantly deep cleans and refines pores. Um, my hand does feel kind of soft after that. So I'm excited to use this on my face. The Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Highlighter will sell for $38. This is the best selling creamy highlighter powder that will light up the features you love with the high shine finish, which I, which I have to say I'm impressed with. Um, yeah, love the gold. This next one is the Tarte Tardius Quick Dry Matte Lip Paint. Will sell for $20, a full coverage transfer proof, which we tested, liquid lipstick with a quick dry matte finish love 
Um, next we have the Nailed It Toolkit, which sells for $18. This five piece set instantly refreshes up your manicure no matter where you are, which again, love this. Something that you can keep at the office, no problem. And then last but not least, we have the Jaunt Blue Lip Liner that will sell for $5. The creamy, highly pigmented formula glides on effortlessly, can be used for flawless lip contouring worn alone or as a long lasting base for any lip color so there you go it kind of gives you um on the boxy tips on the back it kind of gives you some different tips on how you could use this on your lips if you're not somebody who likes brown lip liner or you don't really know how to use brown lip liner i think it's really nice like they kind of help guide you on a small makeup journey but i really suck at makeup so give me one second and we will add this all up hey there i'm back just did some quick math on the back of my card with my lip liner because I didn't want to like leave my table and then hit my camera and it just would have been a hot mess. So basically BoxyCharm in every box says if you pay $21 we promise we will deliver over a hundred dollar value which is absolutely insane. This month's box the total value is a hundred and thirty nine dollars which is insane and whew, I'm so grateful that I have this box like they're amazing and I had a lot of problems about a debit card this month which we, I will talk about in a hot second and um, in a later video because of Macy's um and they were like messaging me and they were like hey babe like make sure you just like take your time no problem you're not going to be kicked off the list like we got your back we will wait for you to get a new card um and you'll have this month's box no problem which they pulled through the customer service was great I would honestly highly recommend boxy charm to anyone like if you can afford it get it don't waste your money on ipsy it's not ipsy's not a box that i that i love um it's for a play they're not like i don't know this is the best box the best box the best beauty box that i have ever tried in my entire life so i would highly recommend it if you have not already please make sure to subscribe i do my best to keep my channel a positive place for everybody to enjoy just relax and send some positive love and energy your way because we all need that in our life um, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up because I want to know what you guys think. If you haven't already, subscribe, like I just said, but I will see you all in my next video.